For the first time, the Covington Catholic High School student seen in a viral video at a rally in D.C. is sharing his side of the story. A longer video of that incident also shows a group of protesters insulting the students leading up to that confrontation with a Native American. Sarah Sidner is digging deeper to find the story behind this viral clip. I'm so New video emerges in a story that has gone viral between Catholic school students and a Native American elder named Nathaniel Phillips. Phillips found himself surrounded by students, one staring him down, the others chanting around him, as Phillips says he was trying to create calm between two groups at odds. I, I realized I had put myself in a really dangerous situation, you know. It was like, here's a group of people who were angry at somebody else, and I put myself in front of that, and all of a sudden, I'm the one who's all that anger and all that wanting to have the freedom to just rip me apart. This video shows what happened long before Phillips shows up. You can see a group of about five black men who identify as Hebrew Israelites preaching. They start taunting people of all colors, other black visitors, natives, and a Catholic priest. Let's make America great again. A bunch of child molesting this is the moment that group becomes aware of the students, some wearing Make America Great Again hats. You got these pompous this come down here in, in the middle of a, a native rally with their dirty hat on. At first, the Catholic school students are there in small numbers, but more and more students begin to gather, watching, with few weighing in. The small group of men continues taunting them. A bunch of in incest babies, right, trailer park babies. This is what America makes, make America great looks like. The students begin to react, but do not approach the men. The black Israelites continue to condemn the kids. You worship blasphemy. We got angels that are blasphemous. Then one of the students takes off his shirt and the group begins chanting. Two minutes later, you hear a drum beat. That is Phillips and another Native American drummer. He says it was an attempt to thwart potential violence. The kids dance to it, and some begin chanting along with the Native song. But for those who think they were enjoying each other's company, Phillips says that is not at all how it felt, especially because of the student standing before him. Fear, not for myself, but fear for the next generations, fear where this country is going. Fear for their, those youths, fear for their future, fear for their souls, their spirit, their, their what they're going to do to this country. The student who was seen standing close to Phillips has released a statement. He says in part, quote, I never interacted with this protester. I did not speak to him. I did not make any hand gestures or other aggressive moves. To be honest, I was startled and confused as to why he had approached me. We had already been yelled at by another group of protesters, and when the second group approached, I was worried that a situation was getting out of control where adults were attempting to provoke teenagers. I believe that by remaining motionless and calm, I was helping to diffuse the situation. To read more on this story and the student's full statement, you can head over to our website, lex18.com.